this is just a beautiful day to be on the ocean. So we stay close to the wind. We are upwind. And 45, 50 degrees the entire way. We finally see Bermuda over there. Sarah wants to go for a swim. We will all jump. The water is so beautiful. What are the chances that this is Zero. I'm filming over here from our passage to Antigua. We have between 20 and 25 knots today. We just left Guadalupe. Sorry for the pull up slide, it's right in the middle. So we were anchored in Bay. This is the last. Anchorage where you can do the clearance on this island of Guadalupe. There are quite a few boats on the sea today because the weather was a little bit more rough in the past three days, so everybody tried to leave today. Uh, the boats left, the others couldn't because there was a problem in there with the computer where you do the clearance, the little helicon boutique. So our solution was to rent a car this morning. Marvin uh, took it to Puente Pete with Tara to go to the marina, do the clearance over there, and then we could pick up the anchor. So it delayed our departure. It's, it's around noon and we hope to be in Antigua before sunset. We have between six, seven, eight hours of passage. What's the island of Missouri? Guadeloupe, Montserrat, Antigua. Looking so handsome. Oh, you have your way. And it's making me weak. You and your styles walking like that. The wind is between 14 and 19. We will stay with two reefs on the main and just play with the Genoa. Look, we are at 8 knots now. 18. Yes. In English, can you angle me in English? Okay, I think Marvin, come back. I don't want you. Uh, no, what to say? I don't want you to fall into the water. Marvin's like, I'm attached. How it is today? The swell is uh, a lot better than in, during our first passage from Dominica. I don't think we even have, well, sometimes maybe up to two meters. It's a lot more comfortable and we don't have the the thunders under the wind. Well,
over here in Antigua and we have a rainy morning. is clearing up over there so I'm sure it will get better in a few minutes we arrived to Jolly Harbor yesterday Marvin went to the harbor to do all the paperwork that needs to be done upon our arrival over here we we're waiting at anchor with our yellow flag Is it raining a little bit? <sighs> yes, feels good. Did you change the diaper, Beba? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Can you help you? Yeah. Marvin left about two hours ago, so I find that it's taking him a long time, but we just had enough time to clean the boat and prepare it for today because yeah! like eight hours in a passage with kids we had all the stuff all over the place and then he's hungry at the end the most difficult part is not sailing or doing a passage it is having kids on board and trying to find something for them to do it while staying safe yeah you know the feeling right <laughs> But Son did a huge nap yesterday, that was really helpful. How do you like the sailing lifestyle for now? Yes. It's good. Yes. It's something totally new, but mm. really enjoy it. Not in the spoon. It didn't arrive with a lot of expectations, so kind of everything was surprising. Mm. Maybe that's the best way. I think so, because we found the key success on a boat. Yeah. As I was saying, at the end I think we really did quite good, even though we were shifting towards Montserrat, but we stayed close to the wind at 45-50 degrees the entire way, so upwind with our can and our speed was around 7 knots. I think we mostly had two reefs or one during the entire passage just to stay safe. At the end we had to turn on the engine and we were motoring for one hour to come back to anchor, so we arrived after the sunset I think around 7.30 maybe and anchoring in dark is something because with all the lights you don't really see the place but discovering the same place in the morning when you wake up is just such a beautiful feeling. I've been dreaming with nowhere to go. This is how this cute story ends. Running reserves, my eyes are with me having soup all over the place. This is exactly why I'm not wearing clothes that I love. Let's try the fishing net, at least it's the same color as the soup. And I wanted to say that we had Starlink during the entire passage and it's working now as well, so Antigua is covered. We didn't know. Uh. Oh, so, so look, the water is so beautiful. Look. Tell me what That's finally back! I did the, the clear in and the clear out. Already? I already paid. Okay. Now in Barbuda we just need to call the guy for the immigration and custom. Okay. But the part authority it's good. And we can't leave tonight because Barbuda, it's not safe for the first time to arrive at night okay. because Tomorrow of the morning. coral reef. Tomorrow morning and sail uh, the morning and we'll okay. be... Yeah, but it's... Oh, it's beautiful. I miss this. Ah. Yes. Oh, right? No. Okay, Tara wants to go for a swim, so we will all jump, right? Oh, Baba, you're scaring me here. No, no, come back. We'll all jump and there's something that we didn't tell you. Yesterday, uh, when we turned on the engine, there was um, a strange noise. Yeah, come and see baby Nofa. <laughs> the 
water is amazing. Can I have my mask moving on? Marvin, do you think you should go check the boat? Yes. And then Marvin uh, noticed that when he was going straight with the steering wheel, the boat was going to the left. We arrived like this here, but now, of course, the first thing that he will do is that he will check if there's anything uh, down. So needs to go to sleep and Marvin's still swimming under the boat, checking the rudder, the propeller, trying to find why are we heading to left when the steering wheel is in the middle. When the, the, the wheel is on the middle, over there, mm -hmm. the both rudders are a little bit... I don't know if something mechanic moves inside, so I will, I will take a look, or it's uh, electronic. I was talking to you about Starlink earlier, and uh, we had really good reception through the entire passage and over here in Tiga, and I was just thinking about this, uh, that last year we were here and we had to go and buy new SIM cards and then um, buy some data to be able to use our phones and have internet. We didn't have any reception during the passages. So in two years, there's like a huge... In two years, the world has changed. In two years, there has been a huge shift and then sailing as we knew it before doesn't exist anymore right no. but you can make it exist if you decide not to turn on your phone or your styling but it, like this is accessible to normal people as we are so yes so tomorrow it will be like no wind day or only 10 knots of wind and i will try if this one can fit on a, our boat because it's come from the old boat and on this one we don't have the bow sprit. So what are the chances that this fits? Zero. <laughs> if I go anywhere, anywhere, just as long as you with me, cause girl I know that you get me, so I'll go anywhere. Okay, this is not bad at all. Look, this uh, is... it will be perfect. Wait, Booby, this is this is perfect. With a bow sprit, it will be perfect. The sail seems to fit in hind. Now we only have to do some. Ah, oh, this is very, very, very good news. You hold this map, I'll hold your hand. Take this love around the world Don't mind those crows buzzing around your head Nothing's gonna hurt your girl <laughs> so, so, no, no, no. Started the engines this morning and we are leaving to Bermuda 
This is a completely new island for us, so we're very excited. Yesterday we just uh, stopped by quickly to Jolly Harbor to do some groceries because as we heard in Bermuda you cannot really buy anything, right? I believe this love is stronger than you and I Learning to do this. Okay, this is good. Yes. I just pull? Uh, no, you need to take off this one because it's two reef. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like okay. This three reef, two reef, one reef. So take off this one okay. and install one reef. Okay. Wow. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. This is how we take reefs on. Yes, on this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, and I'm ready to oyster? Yes, now. And the other side? Yep. Uh, the second from the left. Uh, explain me, why are they so similar? I, I if you're in, if I'm in an emergency, I, I think I... This one. Okay. So this is here. But you need to open the reef. Okay, open the reef. Here, we three, two, one. Oh my love. I don't know what I'm doing. Ah. So that was not fun at all. It's uh, a lot sportier than I thought. Now we just have to pick up the anchor and try to calm Swan. Oh my love. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where. The wind is picking up a little bit, so we'll try to sail with all of the sails outside. Oh, I didn't know your technique this morning. We're finally getting out of the, the sea side of the island. We still cannot see Bermuda, which is very, very strange because it should be very close to us. So. Uh, we're going straight forward and we hope to arrive soon. We haven't had this since the Mediterranean. We have between eight and 10 knots of wind for like almost zero swell. We are upwind, like 30 degrees. We're still motoring a little bit because the wind is coming from there, uh, about 30 degrees. So we're helping ourselves with the engine, but it still is totally incredible. Winner? Yes. Are you really doing what I think you're doing? Yes, I feel like in the med. How cute is that? Let's see if it's good or not. Sometimes I'm cooking. Do you need help? No. The boat is going well. You can see on the iPad because we don't have modern electronics. That's a good point because I was saying that sailing life as we knew it is over. It's the end because of Starlink. But you're saying the this the opposite because yes. we don't have the good instruments. I think you can make one for me. We finally see Bermuda over there. So I will be taking care of the main sail. Okay, 
so we are entering um, a coral reef and we have to be really really careful because we don't want to damage the boat so I'm over here and I'm watching Gail if I see any dark spots I'll tell Marvin to avoid them of people have Starlink on board. We are using the RV membership and the C membership is expensive and everything. When you read the website, if you want to have what we actually have. Uh, you should pay more. Yes, but no, I think uh, we're like not sitting. Pirates. Yes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment and let us know if there's any topic you'd be interested in hearing about.